let's uh, let's get into this honest trailer. Based on the Stephen King novel, Stanley Kubrick threw in the trash comes an iconic piece of horror cinema. Threw in the trash? That was probably scary before it got parodied to death. Here's Eddie. Here's Larry. Here's Clowney. Here's Ozzy. Yeah. Here's Heifer. Here's Jenny. Mm -hmm. Don't. Yep. The Shining. This is true, though. Sit back, way back, for two and a half hours of Kubrick's <laughs> way style. back. That's either a masterclass in building tension or kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, for certain people, I'm sure. Yes. made out of the same three shots. <laughs> characters staring at the camera. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do the staring montage. Pulling a crazy face. <laughs> oh, God. Or characters wandering around. A lot of that. A whole lot of that. We're riding on the. Yeah, there we go. The three wheel. The big wheel. Three wheel. Big wheel. Everything feels creepy when you put that score under it. The Overbook, an empty hotel <laughs> on top of an Indian burial ground with a long history of murder. So, like a nice Motel <laughs> Six. Cozy. And a nice Motel Six. Caretaker, Jack is that even such a thing now? The book is a loving family man who slowly goes mad over the course of the season as the dark secrets of the Overlook are revealed. Come and play with us. Except mm -hmm. in this movie, he never really liked his family. I'm hungry. Why you should have eaten your breakfast. He goes crazy over the course of about a week. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains in. And the dark secrets of the Overlook were part of the job interview. He killed his family with an axe. <clears throat> but Jack has some time and space to write, damn it. And That's right. take all the dark paranormal energy he can get oh, if it lets thank him God they're... The on his novel even more. <laughs> they're editing this, so. I could finish this chapter, or I could kill my whole family. <laughs> then I'll write two chapters, honest, I oh, swear. No. <laughs> Jack's not alone in this haunted house. There's Shelley Duvall's Wendy, mm -hmm. a woman living in growing fear of her abuser, Stanley Kubrick. Oh, God. Little Danny Torrance, <laughs> who shows you don't need fancy CGI to pull a golem. And to pull a golem. A golem. The Shining, a psychic talent that's <laughs> Kind of useless if he couldn't see this coming. <laughs> Guy got an axe to the chest after flying coach from Miami. To <laughs> That's like dying twice. <laughs> Experience this complex and baffling masterpiece. Wow. That could be an allegory okay. for anything. The treatment uh, of uh, Americans, alcoholism, fate versus free will, alienation, writer's block, Theseus and the Minotaur, the Illuminati, it's all a dream, Kubrick's confession for faking the moon landing, uh, MK Ultra, they're in hell and Jack is the devil, the Holocaust, the patriarchy, the destruction of Kubrick's old neighborhood, a warning about staying in the bat too long, or the <laughs> importance of regular snow cat maintenance. There we go, that's the one. We crack the code, you guys. We can stop overthinking it. Okay. Check your snow cat. So immerse yourself in horror that <clears throat> breaks all the rules of today. No big shock moments. No. Nope. No elaborate backstories or explanations. No. Nope. And no unstoppable monsters. Just a sad dad who's killed by the wrong choice of jacket. <laughs> Imagine this came out today. Wrong choice. percent chance this trailer has a weird minor key version of Let It Snow. <laughs> <laughs> because they always want to use like the happy songs and give it a dark version. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is Sorry. how it would be nowadays. Cut my wife into pieces. <laughs> this is a ghost resort. Ghost resort. Sir, this is a Wendy. <laughs> my little Tony. Friendship is magic. Oh, okay. Groundskeeper Chili. Blood in an elevator. <laughs> Hotel Motel. Homicide in. <laughs> the Grady Bunch. The Grady Bunch. Oh, good lord. For a car. Okay. 1980. <laughs> and don't stay in the bath too long. No, oh, no, up. no. <laughs> So I'm <laughs> <an> axe murderer. 
<clears throat> they changed so much from the book. They really should have just let Stephen King have complete control. If you want something done right, you ought to do it yourself. Oh! <laughs> oh. What the hell? <laughs> 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 like, hey, screen junkies. It's like, uh, no, yeah, no, no, uh, uh, <clears throat> this again, it was, it was slow, it was slow for an honest trailer, very slow. But the movie, again, that's just kind of the, the way it was going. Um, this, uh, we, we gotta, yeah, I know the Galaxy Quest situation here, uh. <laughs> That looks like one of the actors from the movie. Um, yeah, let, let's let's check out the pitch meeting because I'm like, oh, good lord, this got to wait. Hold on, check the Shining trailer recut. Feel good movie. Is that only? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna have to look that up because now I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, again, slow on this trailer. Slow on this trailer. It picked up towards the end, so that I liked. But the movie also is slow. And then what's the one with the uh, Ian McGregor, uh, Doctor Sleep? That was a sequel to this where he's 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 the kid all grown up. I thought that movie was actually really good. That movie was actually really good. So that one was cool. Uh <laughs> cut my wife into pieces. This is a ghost resort. <laughs> that was probably the best one for me. All right, let's uh Let's get to the pitch screen. Let's see. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's called The Shining, and it's based off a Stephen King novel I glanced at. Oh, what's it about? Well, it's about making hotel hallways and certain carpet patterns unsettling for generations to come. Okay, that's weirdly specific, but what about story-wise? <laughs> right, well, it's about this haunted hotel that turns this guy Jack Torrance crazy. And what's his deal? Well, in the book, he's a nice family man that turns evil, so I figure we save some time by making him be, like, halfway there already. So <laughs> he's already a pretty terrifying fine recovering raging alcoholic who's dislocated his son's shoulder in the past and doesn't really seem to like his family yikes so what are we gonna do with all the saved time excruciatingly long shots <laughs> that hold for longer than is comfortable and crossfade transitions while people are clearly oh, still yes. talking <laughs> so tell me about this story right so jack is hired as the winter caretaker for the overlook hotel which is this big about the story right so jack is hired as the winter caretaker for the overlook hotel which is the <laughs> hotel in the colorado mountains that, that shuts down perfect. each winter sounds like be a great resort for skiing. That's what Jack says, oh too. But God. the head of the hotel says it would cost too much to clear the snow off the road. So what do people do there in the summer? They would, uh, be there. Right. <laughs> they the hedge maze that you can't see in aerial <laughs> shots, but trust me, it's there. It's right there. I guess that sounds like a fun place to go. Trust Maybe. me. It's also built on a Native American burial ground. That's probably fine. So yep. during the interview, Jack is informed that one of the former caretakers went nuts during the winter and chopped up his wife and kids with an axe. Oh, my God. But Jack doesn't see that as a problem. He's excited to be locked up with his family for five months because he's working on a book. His family that he seemingly doesn't really like. <laughs> exactly. But the thing seemingly, about his son yeah. Danny is that he has The Shining. That's the name of the book you glanced at. <laughs> it is. So that's this telepathic ability that gives him scary visions of the hotel, like little twin girls and an elevator filled with blood. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we're going to find out what that elevator vision's about later, huh? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, the head chef of the hotel also has yeah. The Shining, and I was thinking we get Scatman Crothers to play. Him. His name is Scatman. That's kind of peculiar. Well, his full name is Benjamin Sherman Scatman Crothers, but don't worry, the character's name's a lot less distracting. What's his character's name? Dick. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so Dick explains The Shining to Danny. Why well, say like, like that? Never ever go in room 237. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a good old forbidden hotel room, sure. Oh, that sounded yeah. sketchy. So then during the winter, in the midst of the extremely long shots of them sitting or walking or tricycling around the hotel, sometimes spooky stuff is gonna happen. Yeah, what kind sometimes. of spooky stuff we talking? Well, Danny's gonna gonna come across the twin daughters of the old caretaker and they're gonna be like come play with us Danny oh well that's nice he's probably pretty bored by that point <laughs> no see they're dead ghost girls right okay so that's a no on the plan and Jack is gonna start <laughs> losing his temper with Still Wendy real quick did he not do that before all signs point to this being pretty in character for him sure and then freaking Danny <laughs> is gonna go inside room 237 uh -huh. uh, ignoring dick is tight <laughs> and he comes out all traumatized with bruises around his neck and says that an old crap I'm sorry <laughs> we... uh, oh god oh i didn't i didn't think that was gonna be it <laughs> oh my 
goodness. Uh, character for him. Sir. And then freaking Danny is going to go inside room 237. <laughs> uh, ignoring dick is tight. And then he comes out all traumatized it's with bruises around his neck. <laughs> and an old crazy lady choke him oh out. So a ghost lady just choke him out for a little bit and then let him go. Yeah, just a quick little choke. Then she has other stuff to do, I guess. Fair enough. So now Jack goes to investigate, but instead he finds a beautiful naked lady in the tub. So he starts kissing her. <laughs> but then it's like she's an old woman <laughs> who's dead and rotting. Oh, I probably should have reacted to that part. Now I have nowhere to go emotionally. <laughs> beautiful naked lady in the tub. So he starts kissing her. <laughs> but then it turns out she's an old woman oh. who is dead and rotting. Oh, I probably should have reacted to that part. Now I have nowhere to go emotionally. <laughs> super scared because he didn't want to be kissing an old dead lady. He wanted to be kissing a young one. So that maybe they should leave the hotel with Danny what? and Jack gets super upset. Uh, so what does he do? Act like he always does. So he's in the ballroom and this ghost bartender named Lloyd freaking uh, gives him a drink even though there's no alcohol in the hotel. Oh, man. Oh, a sip of the old spirit spirit. So then Danny starts vibrating and sending spirit, bear messages spirit. to Dick in Miami. What are you talking about? Oh, he uses the shining to tell him that his dad's gone nuts. So Dick hops on a plane to head over. Oh, Very no. friendly Dick. But the caretaker tells Jack about this and says he needs to correct his family. Homicidally, I bet. Homicidally, that's right. And then Wendy finds out what Jack has been typing this whole time, and all it says over and over is all work and no play makes Jack a dull oh boy. My God. Oh, he should go play with those ghost girls. They seemed up for it. Well, he's gonna try to kill Wendy, and she's gonna knock him out and drag him into the pantry. Very oh exciting. God. Very adrenaline pumping. So she goes to bed. Oh, she does. She, she's sleepy now, but then Danny's gonna wake her up, because he's yelling, red rum, oh red God. rum. Oh my God, the freaking <clears throat> child's an alcoholic too. Yeah, see, when you write out red rum and look at it backwards in a mirror that spells murder oh you could also just spell out murder. I'll probably get the message across faster, yeah, but he's going to go this backwards route. Well, okay then. So sure. The ghost lets Jack out of Why the not? pantry, and he starts chopping down the bathroom door with an axe to try and kill his family. Oh, oh no. God. And Danny escapes through the window, but Wendy doesn't fit. And then Jack pokes his head through the door hole, and he's like, here's Johnny. What? Here's Johnny. <laughs> like how they introduced Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show? That's exactly, right. yeah. Oh. <laughs> It's kind of random. It's going to be iconic. If you say so, so man, it's going to be tough for her to escape yeah, the bathroom unscathed. Is. Actually, it's going to be super <clears throat> easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, right at that moment, they hear Dick arriving. So Jack leaves to go deal with that. Couldn't he just take a couple of seconds to kill his wife and then go? Impossible, <laughs> no. So then Dick starts walking around the hotel and Jack pops out and kills him. So he traveled all the way from Miami just to die immediately. He sure yes. did, sir. And his shining power didn't see the axe coming. So he starts running around the hotel seeing all kinds of spooky stuff like what the elevator me, me full wait. of blood for one. Oh, what is that about i told you i'm not telling she also sees some <laughs> spooky skeletons spooky she sees spooky. a guy in a bear costume with his bare butt out doing bedroom stuff to a guy in a <laughs> spooky <laughs> so like jack is gonna chase danny through a no explanation maze, but it's super cold and he gets lost and freezes to death oh, oh my whoops. god whoopsie so then wendy and danny ride off on the snow cat that dick rode in on oh so that was the purpose of his long trip <laughs> transportation and die immediately that's right <laughs> wow so what do you think well, it sounds like a spooky that's right. time yes. and i don't know how to feel about that bear thing so oh who play jack torrance well i was thinking jack nicholson he's got one of those naturally <sighs> creepy smiles oh that's a good idea oh my if you god were born with a creepy smile like jack nicholson oh like his son that in a horror movie oh absolutely yeah there we go just like his son that's right <laughs> and smile too which he's he's in it but like almost barely and when he shows up i didn't know who he was at first but it's yeah he's there he looks just like his dad it's kind of crazy uh cl clearly <clears throat> clearly pishmitting destroyed honest trailers in this one which normally you know that's kind of how it goes but uh <laughs> <laughs> ignoring dick is tight uh the <laughs> Then with the kissing, kissing the woman, it's an old woman, ugh, and she's a, a decaying corpse. Oh, I should have, I should have waited. I should have. Oh man, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Man, this really made the honest trailer seem very, 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 very tame, which the honest trailer was already very slow, but God dog, that was hilarious. That was so funny on a movie that again, I enjoy it. I like it. It's not one that's like a, it's not like a yearly watch or even an every other year watch, but like there I'll get to it or I'll watch clips here and there to get to the parts I want. 
I'd probably watch Doctor Sleep more, which I haven't watched that since I saw it in theaters, actually. But I probably would watch that a little bit more now. I did like in Honest Trailers, though, how we talked about how the trailer for this movie would be different uh, if it came out today, which is very true. 100%. Uh, but that was, yes, that was a solid pitch meeting. Absolutely correct. Solid pitch meeting. That was hilarious. Uh, as always, it, you know, if I do, I don't know if, will I do a, like a poll on this one? Maybe I haven't done a poll in a long time. It's been a minute. I haven't really posted much, uh, <laughs> in the community uh, side, but let me know which one won for you in the comments below. Pitch winning for me, hundred percent. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be most cause, uh, it is hilarious in comparison. So that's, that's the route that I'm going with this one.